Hello, my lovely Ravens. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantel, and today I am going to unbox this scroller box with you all. It is January. It is the 27th of January, and two days ago I received this box. And this is the December box. So it's about, you know, it traveled for about six weeks before it got here. But finally, it's here. It's here. And uh, yeah, I subscribe to Scrollbox. This is not sponsored, not affiliated, but uh, I thought I subscribe and do something fun, hopefully every month. Uh, but let's open it up. Satisfying pool. These are the supplies. And we have some paper, the art print, and the scroller zine. Right, let's have a look. So the paper is an all media jet black card medium surface. And by the looks of it, it's good for pencil, chalk, and pens or markers. It's called the SQ toned sketch tile it's produced exclusively for scroller box so that is nice and it has 10 pages 200 gsm acid free by art gecko sketchbooks made with care in great britain okay well that has some night weight nice weight to it um it's not super thick but you know this is very, very soft, has that soft feel. You can also get with business cards, nice. The art is, looks like a metallic pen, I suppose, by Yip Fong Ray. And here are their, their socials and uh, some information about them. And then we have the scroll zine, which I'm not gonna look at because I don't want any spoilers right now. Hmm, here we have that sticker, which is basically from the artwork. The prompt is out of the darkness, which is nice. And there's another cheat sheet, which I'm not going to look at yet. Let's see. We have a Werther's original, which is nice. I like these. All right, we have a, a Derwent 2B sketching pencil, which is very nice. I do like Derwent. It looks like a very thick lead that's in there. There is a Uni Posca marker in a medium sized nib. We have a Jelly Roll of Moonlight by Sakura with that kind of nib. It's just a gel pen. Ah, there's that. And we have three metallic paint markers by Spectra Noir. I love Spectra, Spectra Noir, and uh, this is probably not gonna be an exception to that. So these are fully opaque and work on almost any surface. Nice, nice, nice. So we have a seven mil super fine a three mil fine and a four mil chisel. The silver one is a 0 0.7 mil fine. The uh, molten copper one, quicksilver. And molten copper is three mil. And the a liquid gold is four mil and in like a chisel, a chisel nib. So here are all our wonderful art supplies. Let's, uh, let's make something with that, shall we? So when I used to get the smart art boxes, I used to swatch in this sketchbook. So I am going to do my squatches, squatches and my swatches 
in this one from now on. I will not put the stickers in because I think the stickers from Scroll Box are just a little bit too nice to do that. So I'm just gonna swatch as is and just write down what it is. And also I will be swatching on the black paper, of course. Gotta do that too. Okay, I've moved you a little bit closer. So this is the Derwent Sketching. Derwent Sketching. What is it? To be or not to be. <gasps> All right, that uh, works fine. I'm curious for this one. It looks like it had a bit of a sad moment in the box, but that's okay. I think it still works. But it dries a bit lighter on the um, on the black paper. It dries up lighter. I have to activate all these pens. I will do that and then I'll be back. Okay, I have them all working. And here's the black Posca. <laughs> Nothing special there. So this is Quicksilver. This is molten copper, much thicker than the other one. And this one is uh, the uh, liquid gold, I think, yeah. Get very thin, well. You get thinner lines and very thick, broad lines. So this is the gold. I, uh, I, I can't be mad about this. This is really, really cool. I like the, the silver, metallic, everything. And uh, I think we should just dive into it and start making something. Uh, I kind of want to draw on the box, to be honest. I did a little swatcheroo there, and that looks really cool. So I kind of want to do it on the box. why not right also my service makes it a bit bigger because well not that much but a little bit a little bit a little bit anyway let's uh hmm. i have this there one eraser and i can really recommend this thing i normally draw a moon behind it so hmm I'm gonna make those wings a little bit larger. It's very hard to see for you guys, I think. Okay, and let's see if I can draw a moon behind it.
Okay, all done. This is the end result. I am not sure about the purple with these metallics. I think the purple goes with like one metallic and then, yeah, one color and one metallic, but not all of them. So I kind of added it in the bottom, at the bottom of this circle. I'm not sure about the purple, but I did do a little doodle lettering thing saying scroller box with some flowers and the silver. So that works fine. Um, this was a fun box. Uh, I am really impressed with these metallic markers. They work really, really nicely. And uh, yeah, I, I think altogether, this is a well curated box, um, except for this this one. Maybe a white would have been better. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it worked fine on this. I corrected a lot of things and you cannot see it. It just layered really well on top of each other. The black had a little bit more trouble laying on top of the oil based markers, so the metallic markers, but it did work. So yeah, there we have it. Where's my pencil? My pencil went walkabout for a moment. So the paper held up well, held up well. The markers are nice. The pencil, obviously, it's thrown, it's nice. And uh, yeah, just a, a well curated box. So I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.